viewers welcome again to the segment of this video today we shall look at fractions part one i call it part one because there are other series on fractions that i will be doing in the next video segments in this video segment we are just going to have an overview of fractions overview of fractions now we look at a fraction as a term that has a numerator and a denominator for instance if we say a over b a could be anything b could be anything a is referred as the numerator numerator which is the top part the top part of the fraction and b is the third is referred to as the denominator denominator is the second part of the fraction which is the bottom part whenever we have a fraction like this the top part is called the numerator and the bottom part is called the denominator just take note of that now we are going to look at three types of fractions three types of fractions the first one is what we call the proper fraction Proper fractions. Proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator. Right? Fraction in which the numerator is less than, this means less than, is less than the denominator. So let's, let's get acquainted with math signs. Okay? I just put less than. So examples, you can have 3 over 5, 4 over 7, 2 over 3, 1 over 2, and so on. 3 is less than 5, 4 is less than 7, 2 is less than 3, 1 is less than 2. Now, the second part is what we call the improper fraction. Improper fractions. They are improper. This is proper. Improper fractions are fractions, fractions in which, fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator. Numerator is greater than denominator. Example of improper fractions, we have 5 over 3, 7 over 4, 3 over 2, 2 over 1, which is still 2, or we can say 3 over 4 over 3. Yeah. Now, 2 over 1 is really not an improper fraction. Because 2 over 1 is still 2. We, we will rather refer to it as a whole number rather than a fraction. So 5 over 3, 7 over 4, 3 over 2, 4 over 3. These are improper fractions because the numerator is greater than the denominator. The next one is what we call the mixed numbers. The mixed numbers. The mixed numbers consist of a proper fraction and a whole number. Right? It's a combination of a whole number. A whole number is called an integer. So in some textbooks you will see integer. Combination of an integer or combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. And a proper fraction. Examples of mixed numbers we have 2, 1 over 3, 4, 1 over 5. 7, 2 over 7, 11, 1 over 2, and so on. Actually, in this segment, we are going to look at converting improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. Now, I would encourage you to watch other video segments on fraction, right? But in this segment, we are going to uh, look at converting... Uh, mixed numbers to improper fractions and so on now i noticed that i wrote ellipsis ellipsis in in mathematics when you see ellipsis that is those three top three dots it means that it runs continuing continuing and continuing so it goes on and on and on if you can see i put ellipsis here those three dots here here and there so I'm going to be using it throughout this class as well, the ellipsis. So let's go to converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. We will do a few examples, and then we will also do 
few examples of converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. So, let's say example 1. 1, 2 over 5. Is this a mixed number or not? Is this, what kind of fraction is this? It's a mixed number. And I want to convert it to what? Improper fraction. So, convert this to improper fraction. Improper fraction. Now, look at the way you do it. And I'm going to show you. If I write 1, 2 over 5, I'll have an arrow here, and I'll have an arrow here. I hope you see it clear clearly. You see it clearly. So this means 5 times, I'm going to put times here, 5 times 1, and then you add 2. This is kind of a uh, very quick way to do it. All you need to do is, you take the denominator and multiply it with the whole number, and then add it to the numerator. So, use the denominator, which is 5, multiply it with the whole number, multiply it with the whole number, or integer. Now, anytime I say whole number, I mean integer. So, I want you to be familiar with it. If you watch other video segments, you will understand what I mean. Multiply it with the integer, which is 1, and then add the product to the numerator. Add the product to the numerator. So that is how you do it. So this gives us that 1, 2 out of 5 will give us 5 times 1 plus 2 over 5. We have to still put... When you add the product to the numerator, you still have to put the fraction bar. Okay, all over the denominator. You still have to put the fraction bar. That is what I mean. It's not like... So, you, you, take the numerator, you take the denominator, multiply by the whole number, add it to the numerator, and still put your fraction bar. This is the fraction bar. All over the denominator. So, this is 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 over, seven, over 5, which is 7 out of 5. That is what it gives us. 7 out of 5. This is now the improper fraction. Now, what if we want to convert it back to mixed number? Now, convert 7 out of 5 to mixed number. Back to mixed number. So, we just do our usual division. The same way we do division. 5 divide 7. Or 7 divided by 5. Now, I want you to learn the, the, the terminology. You either say... 5 divided 7, or you say 7 divided by 5, okay? 5 divided 7 means 7 divided by 5. So, actually, we now do this. 5 divided 7, right? We have 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Then minus, 7 minus 5 is what? 2. So, this means 1 whole number, 2 out of 5. Now, some of you might ask, why, how, do you, how did you come up with this, right? I'm, gonna, I'm going to explain it. Now, if, if you look at this example, 5, 7 is known as the dividend, dividend. 5 is known as the divisor. 1 is known as the quotient. And 2 is known as the remainder, remainder. Now, you need four terms whenever you are doing division, right? The dividend is the number being divided upon. The number that is being divided is the dividend. The divisor is the number dividing it. The quotient is the answer you get by the division process. And the remainder is the number remaining after division. The number remaining after the division process. The dividend is the number that is being divided, or you can say term. Let me use term. The dividend is the term that is being divided. The divisor is the term that is dividing. The quotient is the term that you get as the result of the division process. And the remainder is the term that you that is remaining after the division process. I mean time. I explained the time in other segments of the video. So please, 
if you want to know more, look up those segments as well. So, this means that 7 over 5 will give us one whole number, 2 over 5. This means that dividend, dividend over divisor will give me quotient, quotient whole number, remainder over divisor. Dividend over divisor gives me quotient whole number, remainder over divisor. So please take note of this. That is how you get improper fraction to mixed number. Let's do a few more examples before we go to part two. Now, this is only part one. Now, another example, let me say example two. For each one, I would convert vice versa. Convert 2, 3 over 8 to mixed number, to improper fraction. And whatever you get it as improper fraction, convert back to mixed number. So, remember I said 2, 3 over 8. I have an arrow here, I have an arrow here. This is multiply, this is plus. So this will give us what? 8 times 2 plus 3 over 8, which is 16 plus 3 over 8, which is 19 over 8. This is the improper fraction it gave us. Dividend over divisor. Dividend over divisor. Now let's go through the conversion process. 8 divided 19, this is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 19 minus 16 is 3. So this gives us quotient whole number, remainder over divisor. 2 is the quotient, 3 is the remainder. 8 is the divisor, 19 is the dividend. Example 3, let's do 23 over 6. 23 over 6 to mix number. What is the dividend here and what is the divisor? Dividend is 23, 6 is the divisor. So I will still do my usual division process. 16 to 23 gives us what? 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 23 minus 18 gives us what? 5. So we now see that dividend over divisor, which is 23 over 6, will give us quotient whole number, which is 3, remainder over divisor. Right? And that, is, that gives us the mixed numbers. Now, if you want to convert the mixed number back to improper fraction, if you want to convert the mixed number, Back to improper fraction. You now have that 3, 5 over 6. Of course, you have your arrows. This is times, this is plus. This means 6 times 3 plus 5 over 6. 18 plus 5 over 6, which is 23 over 6. So, I did three examples so far. And I, I know I did simple examples. If you want... If you have more questions or comments, please go to, uh, go to the uh, video segments and uh, please go to the video segment, other video segments and review it. Okay? Now if you, have, if you still have questions that you don't understand here, feel free to go to my website and uh, post your questions or you can also make comments on the on the video when you watch it. So I will do one more question and then we now have to go to another video segment which is the part two of fractions. The part two of fractions we will be looking at adding and subtracting fractions. And before you view that segment, I would like, I would encourage you to view the, uh, the segment on a least common multiple and greatest common factor, especially the least common multiple, is important. So let's do a final problem, example 4. Convert 213 over 2 to mixed number. Mixed number. So still follows the same process, dividend over divisor. So 2 divide 213, 2 into 21, of course, gives us 10. 10 times 2 is 20. We bring out 1, bring out, bring down 13. 2 into 13 gives us what? 6. 
6 times 2 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. So this will give us 106, 1 over 2. Because 2 times 106 will give us 212, plus 1 is 213. And if you want to convert it back, you want to convert it back to, back to the proper fraction that you found it, that is 106, 1 over 2, multiply, add. Multiply here, add. This is 2 times 106 plus 1 all over 2, which is 212 plus 1 over 2, which is 213 over 2. So thank you viewers for viewing this video. Uh, I would like to, in this video, I will, uh, in my moment of conscience, I would want to thank the production guy, Jason, which is a Cedar, Cedar Fan Productions. And uh, Jason, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Uh, he has been doing a marvelous job. Uh, so in this moment of conscience with Subdom, I would like to thank Jason for his hard work. Thank you and have a nice day. See you in another segment.